how blockchain can solve piracy issues in the movie industry or in general the content how do you protect your content there's there's a lot of concerns about piracy how do you protect your content need not to be just movies your songs your content your pictures that's your asset how do you protect it well the solution is blockchain if you wanted to know more watch till the end so that you understand with a simple example my name is ram i'm the certified blockchain solution architect and a trainer and coach i'm on a mission to create 100000 blockchain experts in the coming years to create more useful applications for the users so that some of the issues like piracy can be protected can be um, safeguarded 100000 blockchain experts to create some of these world class applications to solve some of these puzzles which could not be solved with the legacy applications so coming to this video we'll talk about how blockchain can solve piracy issue so we'll go with the example so that you can resonate uh, with this flow in this video we'll talk about a movie let's say let's assume that uh, a, a big a company or a big production company is producing a movie and this production company owns the master copy right because they are the producers and when the movie is done when they publish it they are giving this to a distribution channels whether it could be to theaters it could be uh, a, a dvd or a cd makers or maybe the ott platform itself now with the uh, the covid most people are consuming your content on the internet on the ott platforms so there's a different topic why you should be giving exclusive to one uh, ott platform with the blockchain you can distribute the content to any source now instead of owning by one particular company you can give the content to anybody that's a different topic we'll talk about that in a different video coming to the this video where the concern is about privacy how do you protect your content so let's assume that we're going to use a simple concept of a, a serial number so when you produced your master copy you're making copies let's say one copy for distributors one copy for ott and one copy for um, let's say cd dvd makers right so you're recording these three as a transaction in other way you're passing the responsibility the ownership of the master copy to three different people so now you have a master copy and the master copy is owned by four people you and other three that's how the transaction of the record is going to be stored in the blockchain and now let's assume the, uh, the theaters are playing the movie and uh, as an audience as a, a fan i go to theater i can watch the movie with the uh, technology you can even record who watched your movie how many people watched the movie that level of analytical data also can be implemented with the uh, technology it need not be just a blockchain but who bought the ticket no what is their age with the future i'm talking about now now we can capture all of that so now you've seen uh, how many people are watching this movie and which theater is playing how many shows that data is coming to you and you have a track which copy is played by which theater that is the most important for you right so you need to know uh, you given uh, copy one to the distributor and copy one the distributor made let's say 100 copies and those 100 copies are recorded in the blockchain and now we know uh, so now let's go back to the block uh, ownership now instead of four people owning that uh, asset now 103 people three plus those hundred people or maybe four people they are owning the asset so there is a responsibility given to those people and they are a legitimate owner of that particular copy and this is a valid transaction right because you authorize those transactions and when one person made a copy that will become a duplicate transaction so when somebody is trying to verify whether this is an original copy or a duplicate copy when there's a multiple ownership on that particular record we know that's where the the, uh, the piracy happened so you can easily trace uh, where the piracy happened coming to the same uh, cds or dvds you given this to let's say a distribution center they're making these uh, dvds and when they make these dvds there's a unique code attached to that dvd and when the person buys that they become the owner in the traditional system uh, we don't know who bought that dvd you go to a, a music store and you buy the dvd and we don't know who's bought who's who's owning that but with the blockchain you will know 
who is the owner of that particular asset so when you are looking at the uh, the master copy again instead of uh, you or the distributor owning that copy there'll be thousands of people or lakhs of people owning that copy not the master copy but the single copy i'm just looking at the higher level so that it will uh, be easy for you to understand so what we are doing is we are passing on the responsibility passing the ownership of that particular asset to multiple people and when this happen the ownership is always with one person right let's say you own uh, out of 100 rupees one rupee is owned by you that one rupee you can't duplicate it. when you duplicate it we know that is a duplicate transaction it's easily uh, traceable right and coming to the ott platforms you given this to ott platform they started watching uh, the consumer started watching this content and you can know who is that audience who watched it content like you no know, whether you taken a subscription model or uh, on demand thing at least you will know who watched it so this is a level of transparency you will have with the blockchain technology and let's talk about how and what happens when somebody makes a copy the master copy you're giving the uh, copy to three or four distributors or channels and you recording that key and that will go on to the owner then they are passing the owner so this is just a, a copy and let's say the key five from the chain so this is a chain we call it as a merkle tree and in that chain the key five somebody made a duplicate being pirated how do you detect it the moment you scan that qr code it's going to show as a duplicate ownership because that ownership is already done by somebody and when you're trying to sell that uh, cd or dv to somebody else we know who was the owner and if there is a multiple copies available it lead easily detects okay this is a, a possible pirated copy so let's talk about how you can identify when uh, a dvd is copied and made into a, a digital version that is the most happening things right so somebody buys the dvd they make a copy they'll put it on the internet and people are watching it and somebody else downloads it and make a copy and sells it how do you protect this one that is using a simple concept of a, a qr code so when you're burning that dvd you burn the content with a unique qr code for that particular cd so when you're making about let's say 1000 dvds each dvd will have a, a unique code embedded into the video so when somebody is straight uh, when somebody tries to make a copy that qr code is already captured to the digital version and when when your people are watching that digital version you know they can just uh, look at the qr code and say you know who is owning that uh, who owns that particular dvd or a cd and uh, even if people are trying to cheat it you know they can probably pixelate that uh, qr code well in that case we can't do much but at least uh, the people know okay you are watching a pirated content and stuff original content and uh, with the advanced um, solutions technology we can even go detect let's say you are watching a, a duplicate dvd the iot device the dvd player can easily detect okay this is a duplicate transactions this is a bit of future maybe down the line these devices will come and they can easily detect the authenticity of the dvd before even playing i know in the us we all we all have that first screen no copies allowed fbi warning is always there and uh, that is just a warning it's a as a visual but uh, with the iot devices even uh, the it can check the validity of the dvd with the uh, blockchain uh, network and see if it is only a valid dvd you will resume playing it if it is a duplicate you can even stop it so that level of uh, implementation can be done in the future so blockchain is uh, evolving now it's pretty new we are trying a lot of possibilities uh, there's a lot of opportunities in the blockchain space especially for the pri uh, privacy because uh, blockchain is the core fund the core uh, benefit of blockchain is to bring transparency to the users so when uh, the media is protected in the blockchain solution in the blockchain technology we are giving more uh, transparency to the user and end of the day if your target audience okay watching that um, pirated content nobody is going to stop it right so let's say i pixelated the entire qr code let's say half of the screen itself is pixelated if they are still wanted to see well it's up to them i don't know which content they're going to consume it they're not going to enjoy the content right so 
that's how you can protect the content using the blockchain technology if you have any questions on this topic uh, any further details if you want to know any further details do put that in the comments i'll be happy to respond to, to those comments this blockchain technology is evolving um, we need to have a lot of iot devices integrated uh, to bring the complete transparency as of now with the current solutions current devices it might not be possible we have to come to a stage maybe few years down, few years down the line we can bring this transparency with the blockchain technology and the iot device to prevent the uh, piracy issues because piracy is a big industry and um, people could not be stopped in general uh, the traditional technologies could not be stopped so we have to uh, introduce some of the disruptive technologies like a blockchain to prevent this issue i hope i gave some clarity on how blockchain can solve the issues of uh, piracy issues and um, hoping to add more and more such videos for you so that you will understand what blockchain can do for the future if you really like this video if you're not subscribed to my channel do click on the subscribe button click on the like button if you really like this uh, video and share it if, if it is um, useful for some of your community okay that's it on this video i'll be coming up with uh, another video with some more information stay tuned keep watching my channel thank you bye